Welcome back to Off-Label Veterinary News, your source for commentary on animals, medicine, and practice life. If this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's jump in to some of the stories you'll be talking about this week. Will robot dogs replace real dogs and cats? Will advances in robotics and artificial intelligence result in a decrease in pet ownership? What are the advantages and disadvantages of robotic pets? I went to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas recently to find out. Robot pets have been featured in science fiction for decades. Toy pets have captured the popular imagination for the past 20 years, with some products gaining incredible success. In 1996, the Tamagotchi, which means Japanese for egg watch, was released and has sold over 76 million of these digital handheld pets worldwide. In 1998, the Furby was released as the first electronic robot toy. Over 40 million Furbies were sold from 1998 to 2001. Ten years later, in 2008, Zuzu Pets, a plush robotic hamster toy, was released. Touted as the adorable robotic hamsters that don't poop, die, or stink, they sold over 70 million Zuzu Pets in four years, totaling over $2 billion in sales. Sony released its iBo, which is short for Artificial Intelligence Robot and also means pal or partner in Japanese, in May of 1999, and they updated it yearly until 2005. In 2018, they announced a significantly upgraded AI-enhanced version at CES. But the question remains, can a robotic pet or AI-enhanced device replace real pets? If so, how much impact and over what time can we expect? There are numerous scientific studies concluding that humans can form strong emotional bonds with robots or computer programs. And then, of course, there are Furbies. While it's impossible to fully answer the question of whether or not robot pets will replace real pets, we can look to history as a guide. Whenever these robotic pets have made a significant technological breakthrough or received adequate publicity, they have been accepted by the public. Of course, a tagamochi can't replace a real cat. But then again, we haven't seen a real personal assistant robotic pet similar to an Ibo yet. The threats to increasing pet ownership are real. The rising cost of pet care, including food, housing, medical care, and licensing. Urbanization, resulting in changes in zoning that disallow certain breeds or sizes or even species of animals. Time constraints. Busy modern lifestyles resulting in people having less time to care for pets, therefore they don't get one. Sony and other manufacturers have made no secret that they're interested in creating meaningful robotic companions and pets, not only to aid in our daily life, but also to provide companionship. Imagine if your pet could schedule a doctor's appointment, get you a glass of water, answer any question, or even provide solace when you wanted to talk to someone. These are a few of the examples of the advances I think we can expect over the next five years. What I can tell you is I was closely observing the people who came to CES to check out the IBO in action. Nearly every face was beaming, grinning, ear to ear, with genuine joy and interest in the feelings and abilities of this robotic pet. Sure, it's easy to pass their brightly lit faces off as novelty. But as a veterinarian practicing for over 25 years, I sensed a deeper, more authentic emotional connection. The only thing I can relate this experience to is watching someone encounter a new puppy or kitten or new baby. It's easy to dismiss these advances as affecting only a small percentage of pet owners in the world. And I agree, I don't expect robotic pets to be replacing real dogs and cats anytime soon. I do, however, expect them to cause a decline in global pet ownership overall. If robots, artificial intelligence enhanced devices, augmented or virtual reality, or any of a number of other pressures cause as little as a 10% decline in pet ownership globally, that can have a devastating effect on the pet industry. Even more troubling, how will these advances in technology affect Generation Z and beyond? Faced with the choice between a real pet or a robotic one that can play video games with them, teach them a foreign language, or help them with their homework, what will they choose? Even more concerning, 
what will their parents choose? The solution is for veterinary professionals to emphasize the positive benefits of pet ownership. Whether those benefits are improved health, decreased allergies, improved empathy, or increasing personal responsibility, we must proclaim them loudly and widely. Our professional organizations need to prioritize engaging Generation Z and ensuring that as many three to seven year olds have pets as possible. I also think veterinary professionals need to see animals as I do, as gateways to nature. Too many of the world's children live completely disconnected from nature, raised on asphalt playgrounds, never seeing farms, wild animals, or experiencing nature firsthand. My belief is that pets can serve as an essential physical and emotional connection to nature. I think this is critical to preserving our environment and planet for future generations. Veterinary professionals need to partner with environmental advocates, wildlife experts, and farmers. We need to make the humane care of all animals a priority, and I believe that pet ownership is the foundation of this philosophy for many. Will robot pets replace real dogs and cats? For some, the answer is yes. For others, I believe that robotic pets and artificial intelligence will enhance the relationship we have with our beloved pets. I envision a future where devices such as Ibo help make sure my cat is healthy. They accompany me on walks with my dog and even alert my veterinarian if my bird is ill. I see a bright future with all sorts of amazing technology in my life and my dog and my cat still sharing my bed. Robots, you sleep on the floor. Well, that's it for another edition of Off-Label Veterinary News. If you like content like this, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified as soon as content like this drops on your internet doorstep. Until next time, keep living that off-label life. Bye.